Welcome back everyone, Grojan here, and today we are back with some more of the Beast Inside. Now we reached chapter 9 and it's been a bit of a journey so far and I'm loving this game. We've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 5 chapters to go, so we are getting towards the tail end. And I can't wait to see where it goes, I've been loving this game. I, I really did think it's been really good. So, chapter 9. My search for the intruder has suddenly turned into a nightmare. Emma claims that I was lost in the woods for 6 hours. To make matters worse, someone broke into my office and stole the telegrams. While following the thief, I ended up facing the terrible truth. We've been watched for a long time. The Soviets, they know everything, every detail. The whole thing is getting more and more complicated. I'm starting to think that Nicholas did not, in fact, lose his mind. He too was stalked by someone with his every step. Okay, so we are waking up. It looks like we're in a well. Oh. Oh. With a dead body. <laughs> Whose body's that? This is the bottom of some fucking well. How do I get out? Oh, handcuffed to the dead body. Well, we're gonna have to find a way out of that. Ah, there's a knife. That'll do. Pick up the knife. Something in that bucket as well. I see it gl like glowing. Don't cut our hand. Don't cut our hand. Oh, we're gonna cut his hand. Puke. That's even better. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that. I'd have been standing there trying to chop the chain off. But now we've still got handcuffs on our hand, dangling down, getting in the way. Hurting. Hey, we got some rocks. We are going to get you and we're going to throw it at. We're going to throw it at the bucket. There we go. First shot. Nearly hit us, though. Right. Fly on the chain. I was waiting for like a, a left, right, left, right click on the mouse, but it didn't happen. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> At least we can climb up. His hands look sore though. That must hurt. Uh oh. Is gonna break. We need to be quick. Don't grab for the wall. Just keep climbing. You got no chance. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit. I was too quick pressing the buttons and I pressed the wrong side. Load the last checkpoint. Right, we're going to get out of that this time. Okay, so we're up to the rock parts. We just need to throw it at the bucket again. There we go. We get that. Going to start climbing. Come on. There we go. Let's see if we can get out this time. So we know what we're doing anyway. We know what we're doing. We don't have to, we don't have to rush you. Get, you. You get loads of time to press that button. Just got to make sure to press the right one. Fuck, the plank is going to break. So left. That was close. There's not even enough to grip onto. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. I got a bit quicker towards the end. Hey, we are coming out to some creepy little house in the middle of the woods. Seems like a bit of a theme in this game, doesn't it? So we didn't even check the body to see who it was with us. Something on the floor. What's that? Keys? Oh, it was keys for the for the handcuffs. That was Andy, wasn't it? I must get back to Emma as soon as possible. Right, return to the house. Right, we got a building there. What's this one? Can we get through? No, that's locked. Oh, that's the building we were in. That's the building with the blue lights and the, the clues. That took us forever. Right, have a quick nose about. It doesn't look like there's anything here, actually. Nothing in there, either. All right, so... We can't go around the back. There must be a way. Up and over, maybe? No? It's got to be that way, then, hasn't it? Oh, we've got our little knife to chop through the trees. We got about that. Right, we can get past there. Hey, let's hope for a nice little chill day today, you reckon? I mean, we've had some dodgy, dodgy times in this game so far. How far am I going? How far? We're, I don't actually know. We did go quite far to get to that building, but we came from a different direction. Another little creepy house. Pull this off. Right. Down we go. 
Hey, this looks kind of far. Can we just drop off? Oh, it's not that far. This way, maybe? I've got no idea where we are. We're just running aimlessly through the woods. Go this way. Kind of like a path, but it's not. The game audio. I don't know whether it's the game audio, right? If it's a little bit messed up. But we do hear things behind us. We got the tower, the fire watch, and the chapel. So it looks like we're going. Oh, there's a light over there. Let's grab the torch. Oh, we can't. Is that pointing the way we need to go? It's pointing this way for a reason. What the hell is that? A big water wheel? Let's go. Let's go. I don't like being out here in the dark. At least it's not too dark to be able to see. Sure, hillside in tower. Oh. I left my wife alone and there's a maniac on the prowl. I this is the way. I remember it. Oh, we got a bit of lag there. This is the way. Straight across. I've left my wife at home and there's a maniac on the loose, did he say? We're nearly there. This is where the tree where some weird thing was. Right, can we get in the back door? Emma! Talk to Emma. Where is she though? That sounded kind of weird, didn't it? Oh, who's locked the living room door? Why is the music like this? She's not here. She's upstairs. The music's all like um, dramatic. Now we'll try the rooms from this side first. That one's locked. Remember the last time we came in this room? This was a bad one, this. This was... We got through out of it. Not going to be in the loft, right? That one's locked. That one's locked. She's not in bed. There she is. We found her. I thought she wasn't going to be here. He's been here again. This time... What happened to you? Why do you look like this? I don't know. Slipped and fell into a stream. I'm all right. He's come back. You hear me? He keeps harassing us. The phone doesn't work. Maybe he cut the wires or. The important thing is, he didn't do anything to you. But he could have. Look what I found. Oh, so? Stop before you. I'm sorry. Stop I before you can, did that say? Phone. Did you meet the sheriff? He, uh, no, I must have missed him. I found the telegrams, though. And believe it or not, the diary I told you about? Diary? Nicholas's diary. It'll help me decode them. I just need to find the remaining pages and then... You're doing it again! Someone wants to kill us, and all you're worried about is work? Why don't you think about me? About our child? She's got a point. to think all the time. Then do something to keep us safe. And do it fast. It'll be over soon. I promise. Right, so where are we going? Emma's on edge. She needs to call. Has that been decorated? I better check what the sheriff was up to. Luckily, I would say it's the sheriff's car. So there's his car. I hope he's left it open. Oh, it said that we needed a key, but it just let us get in. There's a piece of paper. Police report. He never had the chance to write that summary. The same person turned our life to hell has also brought the sheriff's life to a brutal end. Was that the sheriff in the thing with us? Damn. These are the events that Nicholas mentioned in his diary. So we didn't make or embellish anything. Too bad I didn't know these legends before moving here. Okay, let's... We might have to read that. The house that Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson now live in was very has a very eventful history. In the 1850s, there was an incident in the nearby mine, and at least a few people went missing in the immediate area. When a body of one of the missing people was found, accusations were made against a certain Jacob Hyde, the mine's co-owner, who happened to live in this very same house. It wasn't until years later that other bodies were found, which is why the area has become shrouded in dark legends. The murderer was never apprehended. Okay, we'll take that. Ooh, what happened then? <laughs> we fell in a hole or something. Oh no, we got in the car. A lighter? We'll examine you. Lighter with Russian engraving. Why would someone keep something like this? 
Was it even a real officer or just some dummy sheriff? Uh, rotate. There's no hidden messages on this one or nothing. And we can't really do anything with it, so... That'll do. Just put it back. Somewhere. Anything in the back? Doesn't look like. How about the boots? Ooh, nothing in there. No secret compartments or anything. It feels like we're missing something. Because it hasn't told us anything else to do. Oh, glove box. More papers. What's this? In the late 19th century, the Hyde family, in order to avoid further association with the accusations against Jacob Hyde, legally changed their name to Stevenson. What? What the fuck? Am I supposed to believe that my family and the Hydes are one and the same? Mm. That's fucking absurd. So someone would have told me if we had such stories in our family history, wouldn't they? Hey, unless <laughs> if it was that long ago, hey. Bullshit, bullshit invented by the sheriff. He wanted to set me up, mess with my head. W was he even a real sheriff? Oh, fuck, I seriously can't put my finger on this. He's losing his mind. Okay, say you. Shall we read it? Oh, there's a hidden message. So the police suspected Jacob Hyde of killing John Norton, and then Jacob's son, Nicholas, was put into mental treatment. He mentioned being 10 years away from home in his diary, so it seemed he spent that time in a mental hospital. It seems familiar, but I can't recall where exactly I've seen it before. Definitely somewhere in our house. Okay, so we need... Let's have a little read of this one. While searching the Hyde family estate, the sheriff and the deputy found a hidden room located directly above the office. Inside the dark, there was Jacob's teenage son, Nicholas Hyde, cowering on the floor. They were unable to communicate with him. The boy does not recall any stimuli. Perhaps he has fallen into a stupor as a result of abuse from his father. The young Hyde has been placed in the care of psychiatrists who will decide on his further treatments. The sheriff has issued an arrest warrant for the fugitive Jacob Hyde with a bounty of $500. So I think we might be looking for this little statue. Like, I don't know, is it like Jesus pointing to the sky or something? I don't know. Another secret. A hidden room in our house. Above the office. Check it out. That fucker could have even been there. Find the places in. from the photographs. Didn't know about it before. Right, so a secret room above the office. Do we need to go upstairs? Or, or is there an actual room above the office? I don't know whether we can climb up on any of this. Let's try upstairs. So there's a room above the office. Is there anything we can move out the way to get into any special places? This is it. I just need to place the disc in the opening, just like in the picture. Did he just say I need a place to... What? Hang on. Notes. What one was it? Oh, police report. Oh, yeah. This one. Rotate. Oh. That looks like the fireplace. Put the disc in the fireplace. There, there. Right, what have we got here? This is going to be a, another puzzle. As the text is invisible, how can I read it? Solve the riddle to close the... F Solve the riddle close to the fireplace. What happens at night will be judged in daylight. What stays... I'm going to have to do that, I can't read that. What stays hidden in the dark will be revealed in full light. What happens at night will be judged in the daylight. What stays hidden in the dark will be re revealed in full light. Good. Well. Wait, that what one? Sequence isn't random. No, it's not. But we've got to figure that out. And we've got to do this as well. Right, we need to figure out what year. So where do we find the clue? Where do we find the clue? Oh, what's this here? Oh, there we go. Oh, don't want the club. 1986, 1964 AD. 1964. Oh, we want AD. Then 1960. Oh, that changed that one. 1964. Is it 1864? Here we go. Oh, what the hell? 
1773. Okay, 1773 and C. No, we can't move the inside one anymore. So 77. So that's going to be B. I think. We'll find out if there's a B on there. 1773 and C. Okay, so that's not how it works. 1773. Okay, so that's going to be maybe E. Here we go. E. 1823 and M. Eighteen twenty-three and M. So that's going to be a G. Taking us a bit of time. This one. EG fourteen ten and N. O. EG O thirteen O seven and D. I. I've got no idea what this word's even going to be. 1791 and T. 1791 and T. It's going to be an S. The wrong way. A gosh. Oh no. 966 and I. 966 and I. M. Wasn't too bad this one. If we got it right. Oh, you can't go the opposite way. But didn't go the wrong way. Bingo. Egoism. It was well thought out, Nicholas. We've got a safe. Need to open you a bit more, though. Right. Out the way. It bounces back. <laughs> oh, what do we got in here? A Globus Crew Cigar. This isn't just some trinkets. It looks like it could fit somewhere. No, Let's take that. The apple in the right place. Get into the hidden room. Okay, so we got to find somewhere for that thing to go. Looks like it does fit somewhere, though. That's not what I meant to do. Let me check that. I wonder if the clue is in the picture. Would it be in this? What the hell? Was that me? <laughs> Knocking chairs over, scared of myself. I don't know whether we checked all these drawers. But it's not in any of them. Right. My... Let's have a little look at that photo. Let's have a look at the photos to see. Is it going to be by that statue? Because it doesn't show us on there. It doesn't go in here. It doesn't go in the light. I'm thinking it might not be in this room. What the hell's going on with these doors? Right, I'm not seeing any... What does it look like? Items? So it looks like a cross with a ball. It looks like a key, actually. Okay, so we've got to find somewhere for a strange, weird key to go. I haven't actually seen anywhere where this looks like it could go before. But this could just be like a case of just wandering around the house. Looking for stuff. Right, we can't get any of them. Not seeing anything in this room. It's just a wardrobe. I thought that was a door for a second. I'm currently at a loss. Gotta be in the office though. Oh, there, there's the statue. Jesus points at the gate of hell. I don't get it. I don't think I want to. So it's up there somewhere, maybe? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. 
So that room upstairs is just locked, but we've got like a secret way up there. Maybe I've missed something. Hey, up we go. In place? Search Nicholas's room. Father, mother, son, death, liars, thieves. Well, liars, thieves, murderers, foragers, forgers, monsters, sadists, he and I. Next one. I make long trips without even moving. Human. To human equals beast. It is going to be Jekyll and Hyde, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Everyone I meet has two faces. One is human, the other is the face of a beast. I'll fall down. We saw we saw through a hole in the wall and what my father did to that lady. Right, so we've read all this stuff. Is there a piece of paper we can read? But not that. There we go. We're going to uncover some secrets we don't want to know about. Oh, we have finished. No, we haven't. <laughs> Open the door. Do we have to? <laughs> Do we have to? Let's check the drawers first. I want to make sure we haven't forgot anything in this little room before we leave it. Okay, so we should probably shut that, shouldn't we, before we let someone else in? Someone's at the door. Gonna be the copper, the officer. No one there. <laughs> I knew that. I didn't jump down because I knew there was going to be someone behind us. I don't know how we got in. Chapter 10. So I think we're coming up to half hour. I think that's probably not a bad little place for us to end. We've done that chapter. We're on chapter 10. So that is where we are going to finish off, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying the series. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.